in line with the Finance Act 2021, international e-commerce businesses will now be taxed from revenue made through purchases by Nigerians. This was disclosed by the Minister of Finance, Budget and National Planning, Zainab Ahmed, during the public presentation and breakdown of the 2022 budget in Abuja. The new directive is in line with the Finance Act of 2021, which is aimed at boosting government revenue and enhancing tax administration in the country. A correspondent for Lashade Ogumide now reports. It's no secret that Nigeria has a revenue problem, but as a solution, the government says it has re-strategized and created more ways to improve revenue. One of such instruments is the Finance Act of 2021. The Minister of Finance, Zindab Hamad, has disclosed that the federal government would charge 6% of turnover on e-commerce businesses provided by non-resident companies. What this means is that Nigerians who visit foreign-based e-commerce platforms will pay value-added tax on items purchased online. This provision empowers FRS to access non-resident farms, to assess non-resident farms, to tax on fair and reasonable basis of turnover and from digital services provided to Nigerian customers. This also is introducing turnover tax on fair and reasonable percentage of profits and from providing digital services to Nigeria. The rationale for this is to modernize the taxation of ICT and digital economy in line with current realities. And this is in conformity with the provisions of the National Development uh, Plan of 2021 to 2025. The Finance Act also grants the Federal Inland Revenue Service, FIRS, authority to access computers of taxpayers. In the mid-year of 2021, the FIRS had issued a notice to connect its automated tax administration system to devices owned by taxpayers to enable it to access relevant information for tax purposes. The mechanism here is to enable FRS to sanction non-compliant taxpayers that are refusing the, uh, the, the FRS access to their IT systems. The rationale behind this is to enhance the ongoing ICT and tax administration reforms by the FIRS to increase revenue generation also in line with the objectives and priorities of the 2022 budget. As proof of its commitment to block revenue leakages, the minister revealed that the government exceeded its collection target for its independent revenue for November 2021 to the tune of over 1 trillion naira. All government enterprises have pegged their expenditure to revenue ratio at 50%, which means as a GOE, you cannot spend more than 50% of the revenue that you generate. And that's why we have this, this spike. As at November, we have surpassed uh, the collection targets that has been set in the 2021 budget. And for the first time, we have passed the 1 trillion Naira collection mark of independent revenues. The Finance Act, which was signed into law by President Mohamed Bari in December 31st, 2021, is aimed at improving revenue generation as well as enhanced taxation administration in the country. Folashadi Ogrindi, TV360 News.